everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i am trying a viral popular tiktok makeup look it's one simple eye look that i have been dying to try and i decided i'm gonna try it out on my hooded eyes it is the reversed cat eye makeup look so the person where it went viral with the account is painted by spencer i've actually never heard of him until like recently with this but everyone has been doing it it is gorgeous it is flawless it seems very easy and i decided i was gonna do a youtube video on it to see how does it look with hooded eyes is it actually easy to achieve so before we get started if you're new here hi i'm jamie b i do new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe before you leave and and without further ado, let's get into this eye look. All right, so I'm super excited. So like I said in the intro, Painted by Spencer was the original creator that I'm aware of. I don't know if this is a technique that's been around for years and he took it from, I don't know all that. I don't know the history of it. I just know that it went viral with this makeup artist and I'm excited. So I'm gonna put the quick video right here for you guys to see the TikTok. So give it a second. I'm gonna let you see it. Da -da -da -da. It just looks so cool and so easy and it just looks stunning. It just looks stunning. So he then turned around and did a YouTube video on it, which I'm not going to put up here since I did that TikTok because that's where it originally had come from. Then he made a YouTube video just to kind of help people out. I have everything that he used. He used the Soft Land by Anastasia Beverly Hills and he used these two colors right here. He said you can change up the colors for your lid if you want to, depending on your skin tone. He said just don't put black on the lid because it kind of takes away from what you're doing. I also have the two brushes that it looked like he used. It looks like he used the Ariel and Morphe ones, so I have those. I don't really reach for these very often, but I do have them, so I'm excited. The definer one and the fluffy one. I also have the eyeliner he used, and I think that's it. And he used a mascara, but I don't know what mascara he used. I'm just using whatever mascara. And also in his YouTube video, he says not that he does not use lashes or false lashes for this look because they're super heavy and it takes away from like the cat eye effect. So he says if you're gonna wear lashes, which I have to wear lashes, mascara is great and all, but my lashes are so sparse and so non-existent that if I don't even have like just a little, just a little something, um, it just doesn't look right. So it literally looks like I'm bald. I'm gonna use very, very thin, very thin Demi Wispy lashes. Here. So the first thing he does go into is he does go into the upper lid, which I have obviously all my other makeup on. So we're going to go, we're going to go into it. So he goes into Cypress Umber, which is this brown right here. It is more of a warm tone brown. And again, if you're more fair skin, he does say that you can use a cooler tone color. Just avoid using black on the lid. He just starts to place that color and just buff it out throughout here. That's a little bit dark for me. Mmm, I don't know that I like how that one's kind of dark on my skin tone. And he just lightly places this color like to give it definition. I don't see him putting it on the lid, but I think I'm gonna bring mine a little bit on the lid because... I just want to make sure it looks like I have makeup on. So he brings it into the brow right here to define that. So I'm going in with as light of hand as I can, but because it is such a dark color, it's turning it's turning into a whole freaking dark look. What the fuck? I don't remember loving this palette very much, but he swears it is the best. So I'm just lightening it up a little bit with a lighter color that's in the palette just because I feel like it's too I don't know it seems a little bit dark and I'm blending it out because we are gonna wing things out so I don't want it to be too round that's basically it so what I'm gonna do a little bit different no I'm supposed to be copying this look but I don't care for my lids to just be like there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my makeup by Mario prep and set and use that powder that I set my eye with and just literally blend a little something here so it's just a little less harsh so now putting that lighter color like it just flows so much better so easy smeezy the next thing that he does is he goes in with the Huda Beauty double-ended life liner 
and he goes in with the pencil one. He lines the waterline, but he does not bring it down. He said a lot of people are bringing the liner down to their eyelash or their bottom lid. And he said, don't do that. So I'm just going to line it right on the waterline, like he said, straight across. So you can bring it up here too. So bring it like up this if you want. And then definitely over here on the waterline still. And then this is where you're just going to kind of wing it out straight. So just a little. Now obviously, depending on how you like your wing, how you wear your wing is going to be different. I don't do super wing liner because I have very hooded and small eye space. So if you have the space for that, I mean, by all means. <laughs> do the wing liner of your dream but I don't have space for all that so I'm gonna keep it small like he did now there are a lot of people who go in with the liquid liner and kind of draw or define this inner corner so I am going to do that but he does not I just think that it would be a lot nicer to define that corner so now he takes noir in here noir which is the black and he literally just defines what he did and blends that out. That's the part that's gonna come to the lid, not the liner, because the liner's a cream, it will shift. And if I were you, if you already have your makeup done for this look, you're gonna wanna keep it very little, work with little and keep going. Because if black gets all underneath, you're gonna have the raccoon eyes. So I'm working with the waterline first, and then I will make my way out the wing now some people I've also seen use like brown and he says in his video you can use all different colors it doesn't have to just be black so just keep that in mind <sighs> you can kind of just do whatever color you want if you want to diffuse this with like a brown you can but I'm just kind of doing exactly what he said and how he said to do it so far I'm loving it like I haven't even finished and I'm just over here like oh why have I never done this and it's easy because you keep your eyes open while you're doing it so you're not like ah, this one how oh, many looks thicker than the other one what the <laughs> it's alright so now he just says to do mascara but I'm going to put on real thin demi whiskey lashes i'm gonna try the mascara first obviously just to see like does it look good with just mascara but i just feel like i have no lashes whatsoever so i have to really put something on my lashes oh my gosh i forgot to do define the inner corner because he doesn't define it yeah see even with mascara it just doesn't do it for me so i would definitely have to have lashes but after i put this layer of mascara on before i apply my lashes i am going to go in and define this inner corner so i'm gonna go in but i'm gonna go in with the liquid liner this time and basically just draw out those inner corners of my oh my god too much much too much this pointy part it's making my eye itchy however I do like it defined I'm going to hop off camera throw on my lashes and then I'll be right back to let me know my final fonts of how easy this was to do okay so here's the final look I think that he looks gorgeous and every person I've seen do this look looks so stunning. But I'm over here like, like it looks good like this. Like, hey, what's up? But as soon as I turn my eyes, it's just not there. Did I not put it up high enough? He said just go straight out like I would a wing. So I'm just like, what? What did I do wrong? Maybe it's the lashes. Is it the lashes? Like if the lashes were not there, could you see it better? I don't know. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It just kind of reminds me of a bit of a smoky eye. Isk-esque. What did I do? Like, I'm looking at these photos, right? And I'm just like, no. Maybe if I just like, like everybody else. Mmm. Yes, now you'll see it. It's because my eyes are so... They're so bad. If I just, like, get some lifts. Ooh, now you can see it. I don't know. Hold on. But I don't think it's bad. I think it's a cute, fun idea to try. But depending on your eye shape and how your eyes are, like it just makes my eyes look so 
small and these are like really really thin lashes when i tell you they're thin like they there's like nothing okay they're like the ardell demi wispy there's like nothing so for me i just feel like the whole with the black all the way around it definitely made my eyes look smaller and i already have small eyes so i don't think that this is going to be something i will do ever again or <laughs> I mean, I might try it again with a warmer tone brown because I think this is too cool tone for me and maybe that's why I'm getting the smoky eye vibes. I don't freaking know, but I'm just like, eh, eh. so it's just, I don't know. It's not my, it's not my favorite look. It's not terrible. I think it looks gorgeous on everyone. I've seen it. It just looks like trash on me for some reason, like everything else. So let me know down below what you guys think. Have you tried this look? Do you like this reverse cat eye trend? Does it make me look sassy? Because I feel like I just look like I smoked my eyeshadow out. So give me the deets down below. What do you think I should do? Should I try it again but use a different color? Maybe brown is my thing and not black. I don't know. We'll have to see. I hope it kind of helped you decide whether or not this is something you should try. I do think it's a fairly easy thing to do once you kind of get the hang of things. But like where you're placing it, it, it would definitely take me once or twice to just be able to go whoop whoop and out the door like he did it so fast. But until you like figure out where you like everything placed and how the definition you want looks, it's a little bit more time consuming than just like super easy, but it is definitely a easier alternative to a full glam look. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you do subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.